at the very beginning of the celebration, looking at all your loving teachers, let us put our hands together. This noise sounds good, no? Yes, my beloved Vice Principal, Reverend Sister Irene, Sister Anugraha, and my dear teachers and my most loving students. Our nation celebrates Teachers' Day on 5th of September. And that day we celebrate in honor of the birth anniversary of Dr. Sarvapali Radhakrishnan. Who is he? Who can say? Who was Dr. Sarvapali Radhakrishnan? Somebody said the answer. Be loud enough. Raise the hand who knows the answer. Here are some teachers I can see with the raised hands. Yes, yourself. Very good. He was the first Vice President of India. And after the term, he was elected as the second President of India. Who was the first President of India? Pardon? Doctor? Rajendra Prasad, he was the first president of India and after him, the vice president of the time, Dr. Sarvapalli Radha Krishna was elected as the second president of India. And why we celebrate this day as Teacher's Day? He was an influential and effective teacher of his time. He was not a good teacher, he was not a better teacher, but he was the best teacher of his time for his students. And on the regard of his students' wish, he just opened his heart, telling his students that if they really love him as their best teacher, celebrate his birthday as Teacher's Day in our nation. So this day started to be kept as the National Teacher's Day. Yes, children, why we keep this day so grand in the schools? Because we know these teachers who are set, seated on the stage today are here in this temple of wisdom to impart knowledge to each one of you. And what is knowledge? In the words of Abdul Kalam, knowledge is equal to... Anyone knows the answer? He has given a beautiful definition to knowledge. What is knowledge? Knowledge is equal to creativity plus righteousness plus courage. So these three things together gives you knowledge. The perfect knowledge is the culmination of creativity, righteousness and courage. So children, what we learn in this temple of wisdom is to be creative. That is why we have enough occasions to express yourself, your talents, your potentials. Then we have righteousness. What is the meaning? Righteousness tells us to be a right person in my dealing, in my talking and even in my attitudes. And the first, the, the last but the foremost thing is what? To be courageous. You have heard about a young girl, Malala. Yes. Why Malala was so famous in this young age? Because she was a courageous girl. She could express herself as she was, she, her views, how she kept education as first and foremost thing for the children of the nation. So she was famous in that very young age. So courage is a very important virtue we need in our life. So these three things together give you knowledge. And this knowledge is provided to each one of you by these loving teachers. So they really deserve your love and care for them. Yes or no children? Yes. So once again if you really love your teachers and if you really wish that them to be with you in the school, once again let us put our hands together for them. And we have seen many quotations regarding Teacher's Day and you make many cards and flowers or you bring for wishing your teachers. 
But more than all these, what did teacher expect from a student? They expect a student to be a unique one. You understand what I mean to say? It is very easy for us children to be like someone else. We have many heroes in our life. We have many role models in life. And we have many uh, dreams in our life to be like someone. And it is very easy to acquire. But the toughest task in the life is to find out who am I and to be the one. Because each one of us are unique in ourselves. And we have got our own creativity, our own potentials and our own talents. But we need to find it out and we need to grow in them and cultivate them in our life. And who will help you for that? These loving teachers, they are here to help you out to find out who you are as you are. To be the unique you. So that is why the teachers are playing a very important role in your life. So children, than any other day celebrated in the school, the most important day for you is what? Teachers. teachers day. Because this day you acknowledge and appreciate the selfless sacrifice and the service each teacher is rendering to each one of you. And the greatest gift you can give to them back is be yourself. Don't look at the other and be naughty like him or her. Don't look at the other and be sad that I cannot be good like the other. Be yourself. Because each one of us are created in God's own image. And there is goodness in everyone. Find it out and be the same. And before I conclude, a word to my loving teachers. We know, as we say, teaching is not a profession. In the words of Pope Francis, teaching is an attitude. It is being something. Because it is not by the words we teach our children. Instead, by our action. By the way I am in the class, my students learn from me. So let us all be able to be the inspiring teachers to our children. Motivating teachers for our students. So that once upon a time, when they grow and when they become someone great in their life, they will come back to their school to meet their primary teachers. Once it is said by a great person, you have to tell me who is a great person. There are three important people in one's life. The most important three people in one's life. One is mother. And second, father. And what is the third one? Who is Yes, and that even said very clearly the primary school teacher because the influence they give in each student's life is remarkable. It is very important. It is a time you mold yourself. So children, it's my request to you. Look at your teachers. Learn from the way they are. Learn to be courteous. Learn to be loving. Learn to be honest. And learn to be a person of courage to be yourself. I need not be like someone else. Be yourself. Because we all wish and pray that there be peace in the world. But what is the means for peace in the world? What Kalam said, if there is righteousness in the heart, then there is beauty in character. And if there is beauty in character, then there is harmony in the home. If there is harmony in the home, then there is order in the nation. And if there is order in the nation, then there is peace in the world. So what is the first step to bring about peace in the world? Righteousness in our character. So children, on this teacher's day, with your teachers, take a resolution, take a decision that I will be a righteous person, an honest person, a sincere person. And that is the greatest gift you can give to your teachers. Once again, wishing my loving teachers a beautiful teacher's day and wishing my students to be the best students for your teachers. I conclude. Thank you.